Hey there, welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. I'm your host, Rashida. So glad to be in front of the camera. You usually hear my voice on the other videos, but every once in a while, I'm able to hop in front of the camera and share with you one of my many recipes. Today, we're making just a simple batch of granola. Granola, you say? Yes, granola. Granola is good, it's easy, it's a healthy snack that you can travel with, you can eat at home, or you can eat on the go. I'm gonna show you a basic recipe that I like to make here at home, and you can add your variations as you would like, but we're gonna make granola today. Are you excited? I'm excited to show you. Get ready, grab your apron, come on in the kitchen, and let's get ready to cook. To make our granola, we have some whole rolled oats, some maple syrup, some olive oil, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla, some coconut, some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds, some cranberries, and some pecans. I might put those in. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. And if I have some raisins in the cabinet, I'll go ahead and put in some raisins. So it's very simple. Whatever you have in your cabinet that you would like to add to your granola, you can go ahead and add. All right, let's get ready to make it. It's quick and simple, y'all, it's quick and simple. All right, let's get ready to make, let's get ready to combine. I have my bowl. I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of our rolled oats, our whole oats. That just gives you a better texture than your, the quick oats. I'm sorry if you have quick oats. This works better with rolled oats. So that's just a substitution I wouldn't really make. So I'm going to add two cups of oats to my bowl. Back over there. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my pumpkin seeds, a.k.a. pepitas. I like to say pepitas. And I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of pepitas. And then some good old sunflower seeds. Um, these are raw, but you can also use salted. And I'm going to use a third cup of those. And like a little coconut, I'll just pour this in there. It's about a third cup of coconut. Go ahead and sprinkle in, sprinkle on some cinnamon, about a half a teaspoon. Sprinkle in about a teaspoon of vanilla. Just a little bit. You know, I believe vanilla makes everything taste better. Just a little notch of vanilla. And then I'm going to add in like a half a cup of the cranberries. I'm just eyeing it. I would say about a half a cup. So those are going to be our main ingredients in this granola. You can add walnuts, pecans, I mean, goodness anything raisins if you have raisins on hand or any dry fruit I like cranberries in mine and I like raisins and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna lightly season it with the maple syrup so take a quarter cup of maple syrup and if you have coconut oil coconut oil works well but I'm out so olive oil also is another good substitute for our oil. And this is to help emulsify or combine all those wonderful ingredients. So in here we have our maple syrup and we have our olive oil. Go ahead and put that in the bowl. And I'm adding a little bit of sea salt. That just brings out not a lot, just a tad. A little bit of salt just helps to bring a little balance and elevate the flavors. And that's it. Oh my goodness, was that what? Two, three, 
four minutes at the most. Just have to combine all our ingredients. That's simple. Once you have it ready and prepped, just combine everything. Stir it all in. See if you like the proportions and the quantity for your granola. And after this, it is going into the oven for about 15 minutes at on 350. So one, you want to make sure that you preheat your oven to 350. Grab a piece of foil or wax paper or parchment paper. Put that on your cookie sheet. Lay. Look how nice that is. This is going to be good. And this will last you, depending on how much you eat, it can last you probably about a good week if you store it tightly in a, in a jar or in a bag. Just store it tightly so that it can remain fresh, keeping its freshness. And this could last you a good week. And you know, some people use granola just to make a bowl of cereal. So you also can add milk to it and you have a breakfast. So. Our granola is ready to go onto our cookie sheet and then go into the oven. Okay, now that our mix is done, we have mixed our granola, put all our wonderful ingredients and flavors into it. I'm gonna go ahead and take my cookie sheet lined with foil and I'm just gonna add some of the granola to the cookie sheet. Want it to spread into just one layer, not too thick. Just spread it out. This is one of my smaller cookie sheets. I have a larger one, which all, all of it can go in that larger one. But since I used a smaller one, I'm gonna put half our mixture on there. And like I said, it's going in the oven on 350 for approximately about 13 to 15 minutes. I like to keep an eye on it. You don't want it to cook too long. You don't want it to overcook. Then it'll be real crunchy. Now, now if you like your granola crunchy, you can leave it in there about two extra minutes, but I kind of like mine on the chewy side, on the lightly baked side. So I'm gonna go about 15, 13 to 15 minutes. So just like that, it's ready to go in the oven. Now, as you notice, I have some left. In this batch, I'm going to add my pecans and walnuts. I could not do that to this batch because one of my children has allergies and she cannot have any nuts. So I always like to make hers first and make sure no nuts touch it. She can have the seeds. She can have the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, but not the pecans and not the walnuts. So this is her batch. It's going in the oven first. And then for my batch, I get to kick it up a notch. So you guys stay tuned. All right, y'all, we did it. Our granola is finished. There it is, looking ever so good. Ready to eat right as it comes out the oven. You can just go ahead and put it in a little snack bag, place it in a jar, and just at your leisure, you can just go ahead and snack on it. Grab it, take it with you as you go. It's a great healthy snack to have. Thanks for cooking with me. Thanks for coming in the kitchen. I'll see you next time on Let's Get Cooking. You have a great day. Our granola is finished. Our granola is finished. So fast, so fast, so fast, so fast, so fast, so fast. All right, y'all, I'm in this video by saying bye. See you later. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This has been a fun video to make. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so simple. Please try some, make some, let me know how it turns out. I'll see you next time on Let's Get Cooking. Take care. Have a blessed day.